Mission. This is Pastor Steve Harris, and um, I'm coming to you from my backyard. And uh, today I want to talk about the subject of grief. And before it starts really raining, I got to make this quick. But this week, uh, as I record this, we have had um, some loss in our family, in our church family, and um, where I'm pointing right now actually down the ground you can see those bricks is where um, our great Dane Chloe uh, was buried and this happened this week and um, it was a real traumatic time <clears throat> traumatic in a lot of ways traumatic because of the fact that she had stopped eating over a week before but it really was a slow progression she was nine-year-old great Dane probably the best dog I ever had. And we watched her just basically waste away. It was really gut-wrenching. On top of that, we have my brother-in-law died about three weeks ago um, of cancer. It had a three-year bout, lasted a lot longer than the doctors gave him. So that's been hard. We have a parishioner named Dave Hughes that we laid to rest who died suddenly. He was in his mid-50s. And you know, when you think about grieving and you think about um, why is it that God that loves us so much would then allow this pain to come into us, this, uh, you know, just th these feelings, they're overwhelming that you just feel like it's just never ending. It's like being in constant torture or whatever. Well, we know that because we live in a fallen world, we don't live forever here. We were supposed to, but we don't now. But spiritually, we do. Now, the subject of dogs, that's a whole different ball game um, that I could talk about another day. But here's the thing. When you look at your own life and you look at sudden loss and things of that nature, if you think about it, it really is something because it happens so quickly. It's sometimes people don't have time to prepare. Sometimes people, it's months and years, and they've had plenty of time to prepare. And even then... It hurts. But what about the times it's sudden? Because I know that it goes from, let's just say a hospital bed, right? <clears throat> the, the morgue is called. They take the body. They freeze it. They tag it. They do all that. The next thing you know, we're talking about funeral arrangements. The next thing you know, the body is prepared. The next thing you know, the service happens. And the next thing you know, it's boom, 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 done. And all within a couple days, the person is gone. It seems so finite. It seems so like, you know, final. It's just, it's just done. And then it's like, you have to like recoil and try to figure out where do you go from there? When I go when, through my house right now, I can tell you that it's not the same, even though I have Cole and he's a great dog. It's not the same without Chloe. I was used to her being on the couch. I was used to her, you know, um, her spot where her water bowls were. Now all of a sudden there's an adjustment. My mother-in-law has the same thing. So why am I telling you guys all this? I'm here to say this. God allows us to mourn. He allows us to feel things. And he allows us to go through it. But he, he wants us to depend on him to bring us through that one step at a time. And know that this is not the end. But there is another level. There is eternity. And eternity is way, way longer than this life. Everything you see around you, all this stuff here, it's all temporary. One day they're going to be digging it up for artifacts. They're going to say, oh yeah, back in the year, you know, 2018, um, this is what people used. Barbecue pits and different things like that. So I'm just saying to you that don't hold on so tight to everything because all of it's temporary. But at the end of the day, God is not temporary. He is permanent. Trust him. Lean on his word and his promises, get help, and walk through it one day at a time. Thanks, guys. God bless.